what's up? Um, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I really think that I want to get, like, a, a tan for back to school. I want people to think that I got a lot of, like, sun over the summer. So I was thinking about going to one of those tanning salons and where they have the tanning beds and getting a tan. What do you think about that? Um, did you research the process? No, I don't do that kind of stuff. I just, you know, I went to the salon, and I just asked them straight up right there, um do you think I should get this like tan? And they said that it's totally healthy for you, nothing to worry about, it's super cheap, and you need vitamin D anyway, you know, from the sun, and it's basically simulating the sun. Well, what I think, I don't think the salons are telling you all the information, so maybe we should research it. Okay, so now I have a picture of what the actual tanning bed looks like, just in case you were wondering. So it's an actual device that emits ultraviolet radiation to produce a cosmetic tan, which is what you want. So, anyways, back to the picture. So, they use several fluorescent lights, as you can see here, that have phosphorus blends designed to emit UV rays in a spectrum that is somewhat similar to the sun. So, not exactly similar to the sun, somewhat similar. So that's also something that you should take into consideration. Okay, so another part of the tanning bed, which I think is pretty interesting and I think you should know, are the choke ballasts. This is a picture of a 100 watt choke ballast, so this is more of the electrical stuff, physics part of the tanning bed that I think is pretty important. So, the choke ballast used, they consist of an indicator which limits the amount of current passing so that you don't get completely burned. With that, it requires a lamp starter to preheat the ends of the lamp that go through the entire UV lamp, and then that's how you get your cosmetic tan. You know what, I think I need some more instruction, Professor Jelanis, so can you please teach me some more? Two types of rays are emitted while you're in a tanning bed. One are UVB rays and another is UVA rays. UVA rays, while you're in the tanning bed, penetrates deep into the basal layer of the skin, also where tattoos are, and um, with this, melanin granules are oxidized, which gives us the pigment that we have to our skin and what people that go into tanning beds in the first place are looking for. Then there are UVB rays. UVB rays cause skin burning, so basically they pop the capillaries just beneath the surface of the skin. Also, UVB rays stimulates the oxidized melanin granules to rise to the skin sur surface. I would like to know the risks. Okay. The obvious one is skin cancer. There's three types of skin cancer. There's basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and the most lethal melanoma. And I have a picture of it right here for you. Isn't that gross? Also, some other effects, premature skin aging, cataracts, and it also weakens your immune system because as teens, um, since our cells are still growing, we are more susceptible to the UV radiations and their effects. You want to see a picture of melanoma? Ah! So they're going to get a tan? No way! Are you kidding? There are so many risks. Nuh-uh, it's not for me. You know what? I'm going to put some sunblock on. You go, girl.